What's up to my Sag Massive? It's your girl D with Ace House Energy here to bring you a uh, reading. I hope all is well with you guys. I do appreciate all the love and support you show to the channel. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing to me. Um, if you need a reading from me, my information is in the box below. Uh, this is the new moon in Virgo. All right. Virgo is in the ninth house for you. It's in your ninth house. All right. And um, your ninth house is all about... Um, your spiritual wisdom uh, is all about growth and expansion. You know, um, it's all about um, legal matters, affairs of the law. Okay. It's all um, also, whoops, it's also about good luck, wealth and fortune and um, higher learning. So for some of you, you're um, in a position now where with the full moon in Virgo, you may want to take advantage of this because the full moon is all about, um, as far as intentions are concerned, setting intentions for those of you who believe in uh, full moon uh, energies and using the full moon energies and the, and the uh, new moon energies to benefit your life. Well, you know, Virgo is all about work. It's all about uh, the effort that you put in. It's all about self-discipline. Okay. And it's all about um, intestinal fortitude, carrying on. Now, let's see what this reading has for you here. All right, because you can do some intentions in reference to that. So let's see what we need to do intentions about. Current energy is the strength in reverse. Some of you are feeling, um, with Leo energy here, some of you are not feeling your best. You're feeling as if you don't have control over things. Okay. Some of you are having a hard time um, maintaining your, um, I won't say your wits, but you're having a, a, a tough time maintaining your temper. Some of you are very angry right now. Some of you are frightened right now because you could be embarking on a journey that is new to you and you're scared to death. Okay. Some of you just feel like everything is just all out of sorts, all out of control here um, with the strength card here in reverse. Some of you um, feel as if, you know, there could be an abuse of power going on. Maybe somebody is um, taking advantage of your weakness at this time, taking advantage of you. Maybe you're feeling as if you're in a position where you're being put in a place where um, maybe you've made some... Um, I don't know, fear. There could be some fear as well with the strength card in reverse, self-sabotage. But we're going to see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what the challenge is with you getting yourself back on track here. The challenge is justice. The challenge is being fair about it. You want to be fair. And for others of you, this could be about court. Again, the um, ninth house for you um, is all about you know, and you're Sagittarius, so it's all about legal matters, all about judgment, all about religious uh, matters, education, justice, okay, what's right and what's fair. So the challenge is, is balancing the scales in your favor, okay? You want what's fair for you, and you're feeling as if maybe you're in a situation where there's an abuse of power, okay? It could be um, in matters of work. OK, it could be in matters of some of you are in, in school, OK, higher education and maybe things are not going your way or maybe you got a grade on something or the admission process was weird or there could have been something that went on um, in that environment that made you feel as if things are not right. OK, let's see what the universe and your spirit guides are telling you in reference to this situation. For those of you who maybe don't believe in God or you know, um, believe in a higher uh, spirituality or anything like that. Let's see what your higher self is telling you. But other than that, this is be for you, um, you know, your spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever it is you go to in times of need when you um, are reaching out for assistance. Four of wands in reverse. Hmm, okay, so the ninth house also deals with travel. So for some of you, maybe you're looking to me, you look, you could be looking to move. Um, you could also be looking to not only just move from where you are, but to relocate to a different area. Okay, and maybe some of you are afraid 
um, you may be waiting on legal documentation in reference to that. The challenge is, you know, you're afraid to move. You're afraid um, of, of, you know, that you may have to move. OK, and so you're waiting on the court system here to confirm if that's the case. All right. So right now you're you're. Um, your living situation could be a bit unsteady. It could be a bit unsettled, all right? Um, and you're just ready to move on from it. Let's see where your head is at in this situation. We have the King of Cups in reverse here. This is Scorpio energy. Um, this is about being fair also, um, doing what's best for others, being empathetic to others' feelings. Um, also, this is not doing that. This is someone not taking your feelings in consideration. Someone not, um, this could be that you're feeling emotionally manipulated is what I'm getting here strongly. So for some of you, there's an abuse of power here. You're feeling, there's an abuse of power here and you're feeling emotionally manipulated. Some of you, you could be scared. There could be some physical abuse going on in the home and the universe is telling you to move, to relocate. Okay. You could be dealing with someone who, um, you guys could be in the process of divorcing right now. And unfortunately, this person still has access to your home and or you share children with them. And so maybe you're feeling that, you know, um, this person is being abusive. They could very well be um, doing things that put you in a position where you're not in control of the situation. And it could be manipulating people's feelings. It could be manipulating family members, friends, um, you know, to side with them. This could be a situation, like I said, where there's a court decision involved and um, there could just be the fact that you just don't have any more to give emotionally to the situation. You've done everything you possibly can. You know, you just don't have the strength anymore is what I'm getting for some of you. Let's see what the outcome is here. Six of Cups in reverse. So this is you letting go of the past. So for a lot of you, based on the readings I've been doing for, for you guys, um, a lot of this for some of you has to do with letting go of a past lover, a past relationship. Um, with the Six of Cups in reverse, this is looking at the past as in, you know what, I had unrealistic expectations about this situation. Um, for some of you, this person could have been physically abusive to you, emotionally abusive to you. There could have been a lot of drinking. Um you know, be, that would add to this person's behavior. Maybe when they drink, they get violent. Okay. And they take advantage of you. And the challenge is, is you, you want to be treated fairly. You want to be treated fairly. You want to be treated right. But the universe is saying with the four wands energy here in reverse that it's time to move on from this situation. Some of you have been in this situation for, with this person for years. Okay, because you've been married to this person or you've got a relationship with this person or you got kids by this person and you don't want to let it go. You don't want to see it fail. Some of you are, are too worried about what the outside world has to say about what's going on. And you've been doing this so long that you feel you realize that I just can't I can't give a fuck anymore. I can't care anymore with the king of, of, of cups in reverse. I can't. This person doesn't. I can't either. You know, I need to get away from this person. And I think you guys know that with this four of wands in reverse here. You need to move away. Some of you are considering relocating. Some of you are considering stop fighting. Again, Vir uh, Virgo energy is about your intestinal fortitude, your discipline. Okay. Some of you have lost discipline to fight for this situation. Okay. Some of you um, need to get some intestinal fortitude because this is what the strength card is in reverse. You don't have it. Some of you need to stand up for yourself, okay, and do what's fair. And standing up for yourself and doing what's fair for a lot of you is letting the shit go and moving. Physically moving on. Emotionally moving on. Stop fighting to keep something together that is just not meant to be together. And the universe has shown you in so many ways, shapes, and forms that this situation is just a lost cause. With the Six of Cups here. OK, in reverse, this is naive. This is being naive. This also represents living in the past. This represents unrealistic expectations. OK. So you guys have to really stop and figure out what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. The overall energy here is the six of coin. 
Okay. <laughs> Six of Coins talks about balance. Being, you know, having equal give and take. This is the challenge in the relationship. Okay. These are one of the same. They're similar. Okay. There's no fairness. There's no justice. Okay. There's no equal give and take. And so as a result, some of you have to separate from this person by filing for divorce. Okay. Because you want balance in your life. You're feeling emotionally abused, battered, taken advantage of. Okay. Some of you are feeling self-sabotage because you knew that this situation was not any good. That's for some of you, but you kept fighting anyway, regardless. That's for some of you. For others of you, it's just like you can't take this anymore. There are some extreme, extreme cases here I'm seeing here of abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, being taken advantage of, okay? Someone knowing that you're not going to let them go, that you ain't going nowhere, no matter what the fuck they do. That's where this has got to end. You got to bring balance to this. You got to bring balance to your life. Okay, and what's going on with you and how this is going to work for you, because if you don't, this is going to eat you alive, Sag. This is going to eat you alive. Now, let's see what other energies we got here. You got the three of cups in reverse. Some of you, this person may you may have already split up from this person or you guys just um, as far as heart wise, love wise, you're not there anymore. This person may be wanting to reconnect with you, but your head is like, you know what? I don't want to reunite with you. Why would I want to reunite with you? It, it's an unrealistic expectation. You've been emotionally abusive. You've been taking my love for granted. I don't have any more left to give you. And on top of that, I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I'm tired of you walking over me thinking that, you know, because I let you live. And I don't mean, you know, physically. But because I let you go, a situation that you did, I let it go. I moved on and tried to move on from it. You take my kindness for weakness. Where's the justice in it for me? What's fair for me? As a matter of fact, I'm tired of all the frustration in our home with the four of wands in reverse. I'm tired of all the frustration and the aggravation in our home. This is not a happy home. Okay? I'm, I'm feeling as if I regret even getting into this situation with you. And re regretting putting up with as much as I put up with as long as I put up with it. Do you know how much I put up with? And as long as I can't do it anymore. I'm getting that strongly with you guys. I'm getting that strongly with these five cards here. You can't do it anymore. You don't have it in you. You know, so now you're just looking for justice. Okay. And for some of you, you're ready to relocate. Okay. You're ready to move out and move on. And you want to be able to pay your bills. To be able to financially survive without this person. Okay. You don't want to reunite with this person. You don't want to reconnect. You to the point where you know what? I was fighting to keep my relationship you know, some of you, it might have been ego driven. You might have been worrying about what other people had to say and how other people look at you. But at this point, you don't give a shit anymore. You don't care about the gossip, the slander. It's going to come regardless. It's already going on anyway. You know, whether you keep this person or try to keep a latch on this person or not, it's already going on. So now if they're going to talk shit, let them talk shit and gossip about how you got the hell up out of there. Because you knew this person was no good for you. Don't let them talk about the fact that you naive and you stupid and this person keeps doing whatever they're doing and you keep taking them back because you think you got this person on lock because the sex is bomb or because you got the money and y'all got money together or what have you, whatever the case is. There's got to be a point where you have got to put your pride to the side. All right. And stop worrying about that and worry about what's best for you. We got the three of wands in reverse here. You don't see your ships coming in with this person. You don't see anything going anywhere with this person. For some of you, you're afraid. You just don't even know what's going on with the future. Um, with, you know, the, the divorce hanging in the balance. Okay, you don't know what it is that you want to do. You don't know where you want to go. You don't know where you're going to live. You don't know how you're going to do things. You don't know if you're going to be able to afford it. Now that this person is no longer around, you're not really sure. OK, so there's a lot that's up in the air. So with the three of wands in reverse here, you got a lot of delays here. You haven't planned this out for some of you. You haven't thought about, OK, now that we're at this point, what am I going to do? So some of you got to put some plans in place. You got to figure out what it is that you're going to do and how you're going to do it. And we have the page of swords in reverse here. OK, so there's not communication. You guys are not talking. 
for a lot of you, you're not communicating at all. You're not letting this person know what's going on. That's because for a lot of you, you're not even, you're not, you're not talking because you're not in communication. You're not in union at all. Okay. For some of you, the crazy part about all this is that you still, you still may be living together. Okay. But for some of you, you have assets together. You have a house together and um, maybe that person is not there, but the house is still in both of you guys' names. All right. And until, you know, you get word from the court, which you haven't gotten word yet with the page of swords in reverse, you haven't gotten word yet in reference to how these uh, the assets are going to be allocated. OK, what you're hoping to do for some of you is just to sell the shit and that everybody could get their fair share and that you could move on. That's how some of you are feeling. All right. We got the ten of swords in reverse here. OK, this is someone wanting to apologize, you know, for whatever reason. They may be wanting to come back. Like I said, there could be somebody who wants to. Oh, well, let's work it out. Let's work it out. And you're like, work it out. Work what out? Work what out? I have nothing left to give. I have I've fought for this relationship for so long. I'm so tired of being made to look like a fool. In front of everybody. I'm sick of people talking about it. I'm sick of it coming to me. I'm sick of having unrealistic expectations taking you back, thinking that things are going to work and they don't. I'm done. I'm done with that. And I'm, that's the energy I'm getting here. And with this Ten of Swords in reverse here, this is you wanting a new start. Just wanting a new start. You just want what's fair. What is supposed to be coming to you financially because of this. And you want to move on is what I'm getting for you. Now, for some of you, this is not just about divorce. This could be about school. Okay. Maybe something happened with school. Okay. Um, this is um, also could be about um, a job, long distance travel, could be about work. But for a lot of you, you, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Because it's the five of cups here. You're mourning the loss of this relationship. You're mourning the loss of this situation. It's over. And and you have to deal with that. You have to accept that. You know, you don't want to keep going back and forth. You're done with the going back and forth. Okay, I'll fix this. I'm sorry. You, you, you're done with all that. You're letting go of the past. And that's a good thing. Because with the energies that are in place right now, the Mercury retrograde, um, energies that are still lingering, the post shadow period that we're in. This is what this is all about: ending karmic relationships. I don't care if you've been with this person since y'all were ten. You know, I had a, um someone say to me, um, well, I've been with him since we were in high school, and we're now in our forties. He's not my karmic. It doesn't matter how long you've been with someone. The point of a karmic lesson is to teach you a lesson. When you learn that lesson, the relationship will fall apart. So maybe it took all of those years for you to learn the lessons. Don't think because you've been with someone since, you know, don't think that karmic relationships are only, you know, six months, two years. No, karmic relationships can be the rest of your life if you don't learn that lesson. OK, so you're letting go of this karmic. You know, you know, I've been if you've been following my, um, you know, my channel, I've been putting you up on what's been going on with these energies. And it's been rough for you guys. And I know it. And I've been rooting for you and trying to, you know, give you as much information as I can so that you can make the best decision for you. All right. But, yeah, this is where you're at right now. But like I said, somebody's going to try to apologize and they're going to want to come back in. OK, but you're going to be looking at it like, nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know, some of you are just, you know, you may feel like you're not going to be happy single. But, um. You know, some of you, you feel like, yeah, this is what I really want. I want to be single. I don't want to be in third party situations anymore with this person. They can't keep their legs closed. They can't keep the, the phallic in their pants. And I'm tired of being looked, I'm tired of being looked at like a fool. Tired of it. So you may want to do some intentions because some of you, you got that fight in you, that fire energy. I said this before in your video. You fight, fight, fight to the death. And I admire that about you, Sag. It's like you you look for the optimism in things. So this is why this is drawn on so long for you. You look at the brighter side of things. And so people could take advantage of that and, and, and screw you over. Because you're like, okay, yeah, let's work it out. All right, let's hope for the best. You know, we got past the word. Let's hope for that. You're so optimistic. That's your energy. That's Sag energy. But at the same time, someone who knows you well enough, especially a partner like this, a karmic partner, they were sent to test you, 
to say, okay, well, when is enough enough? I mean, yeah, we want to look at the glass half full, but let's keep it 100. If you've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, the glass is half empty. So you got to, you know, you got to have that balance there. So let's see what um, advice spirit has for you in reference to moving on. So, yeah, intestinal fortitude. You fight and fight and fight and, you know, you got that optimism in you. What you may want to do is with this new moon energy, you may want to write intentions asking the universe to remove any blocks that are keeping you from being happy and healthy. Any blocks that are keeping you from fighting for things that are no longer serving you. And that'll help you to start letting go of this energy. Okay, because right now you still got that fight in you. You still want it. But logically, you know, this shit is not going to work. But because you're optimistic and you hope for the best and you want the best and you're all about growth and expansion, it's hard for you to let this go. Yeah, who else got this? Someone else just got this. Fork in the road. You got to make a decision, my love. And you see that number 13 there? The number 13 represents the death card, which is Scorpio energy. Transformation. Letting something die. And moving on. This speaks to you truly. All right. Let's see. Okay. Number 13. So. Perhaps you felt almost certain. Oh no. Is that the one? Hold on. Make sure I'm reading the right one. Yeah. I'm reading the wrong one, honey. Hold on. Make sure we get to the right page. You need the right message so you can do what's best for you. Okay, this is real right here. Uh, it was Aquarius. So if some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, you may want to check out the Aquarius reading as well. But here it is. It says you come as far as you can on this uh, part of your journey. And now you're faced with a choice. Now you're faced with a choice. Inherent in this choice is the need for change, for evolution, and for bettering of your circumstances. Narrow it down to just a single question. What do I need to become and what do I need to believe in order to live my life prosperously? Answer honestly and from the heart. Then the decision about which way to go will be effortless. Know that abundance is all around you. Know that abundance is all around you. Choose to see it and it will be easier to settle on this direction. For the way will be made clear by your intuition, which knows how to steer you toward your well-being. So what you want to do also is write into write um, an intention asking the universe to remove all blockages from you using your intuitive abilities to decipher what is good for you and what's not good for you. All right. So you may want to do that as well. Intentions, you can just write them out and then. Tonight, tomorrow, and Wednesday, you can do them. Well, you can do them anytime between now and the new moon. Um, but it's most potent on the first night of the, the first three nights of the full moon. Okay, with this relationship message, this is this is key here. It says you reach the moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose? Oh, I'm sorry. This is what I want you to read. This is what I want you to hear. It says you've come as far as you can go. On this part of, of your journey. And now you've, uh, you're have you faced with a choice. Inherent in this choice is the need for change. For evolution. And for the bettering of your circumstances. I just read that to you. It says time to make a decision. Considering the consequences um, as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make the necessary choice. Alright, so you got to make a choice in this situation. Indecision is extremely frustrating when you will, um, I'm sorry, excuse me, indecision is extremely frustrating and will lead to anxiety, loss, and confusion. All right, that's fucking with your health. Now, at this juncture, you can't remain in place without losing your way altogether. Avoid the tendency to let others choose for you. Remember when I was talking to you about people telling you whatever, you know, so-called friends and the gossip and all of that? Let that go, okay? Avoid the tendency to let others choose for you, which amounts to a subtle refusal to take responsibility. Don't give your power away. 
do not give your power away, not even to the uh, to this oracle, but by making a choice, you are making a choice. And by not making a choice, you are making a choice for which you must be accountable. If that choice leads to undesirable circumstances, take heart. Spirit never tires of giving you second chances. You can always start again once you've learned this valuable lesson. Didn't I tell you this was a karmic partner here to teach you lessons? You got to let this go, Sag. All right. I hope that this will help you and guide you in the manner in which you would need to go so that you can do what's best for you. But again, helping with the intentions help, setting intentions help. So you can write them all out on a piece of paper and then either tonight, tomorrow night or um, what is this? Monday night, Tuesday night or Wednesday night is when it's most potent. Try to do it tonight. Write them all down. All right. And then um, go out at night. Um, you can just go out on your steps, you know, kids are asleep, you don't have to go out of the house or go in the backyard and just read them out loud. And then after you read them, burn, burn it. That's how you set your intentions. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. And um, I want to see you happy. Okay. So I will see you in the next reading. Peace out.